So we're all still trapped at home. I recorded this particular video quite some time ago, but I wanted to make an extra intro for it because um, otherwise it would seem really out of touch. <laughs> I do not want to seem that way because I am living this coronavirus life just like you guys. But to the stylists out there who are watching this video and to my consumer audience out there watching this video, I just wanted to let you guys know that yes, this is a very expensive purchase to make. For the stylists especially, I know that you know you guys are having a tough time because you're not working, I'm not working, um, and we are not we are not out there taking care of our guests, and that's probably the hardest part. But we do have the opportunity at this point in time to evaluate our businesses and say, okay, what can I do better or differently, or what do I just want to change up so that it feels more fun and interesting when I go back? This is a tool that for stylists I really recommend, but I will get into that in the video. So I won't keep you here any longer, but guys, stay safe, stay healthy, um, please take care of yourselves. And um, if I can pray for you, please leave that in the comments. I look forward to reading uh, what you guys have to say and I look forward to talking with you guys and hopefully seeing a lot of you guys in person, hopefully even in my chair, when this is all over and done with and we are able to get back to some kind of normal, whatever that new normal might look like. So without any further ado, um, here's the video and I'll see you guys very soon. Hello friends, I am here today to finally record a video that is long overdue, the Dyson Review. A lot of you have been waiting on me to get this out and I'm sorry for the delay, but I, I wanted to use this for a long time. I wanted to use it on myself. I wanted to use it on my clients. I wanted to use it different ways. I mean, what other ways there's these besides drying your hair but anyway let me start by telling you a little bit about the Dyson the model that I have is the professional model this is a $600 blow dryer I did not pay that for it this model has a few different features from the commercial model that you'll find in most stores like Ulta or even on the Dyson website which is horrible to navigate by the way as a side note this particular dryer I decided to purchase when I could get it at a professional discount which is wholesale pricing and I called Dyson to do that. And I'm very glad that I did because I absolutely love and adore this blow dryer. For me, the reason that I decided to take the plunge and buy it was because of just how quiet it is, how light it is. And for me as a stylist, this is just so much more ergonomic to use when you're doing a blowout. Um, you can keep your shoulders down. You're not overextending your wrist. It's just everything is in the right place. It's easy to use the controls on the back while you're blowing out somebody's hair or while you're diffusing somebody's hair. From that perspective of doing someone else's hair, this is an amazing blow dryer. And I'll just show you how quiet it is. So I am going to turn it on. It's so quiet that I can literally have a normal conversation with one of my clients while I'm drying her hair. I'm gonna turn it on again. So while I'm drying her hair, you can see this is not disturbing my curl pattern and you can hear me just fine. No one's ears are being absolutely ruined by this device. I'm not yelling. That's why I got this device. Because when you're drying someone's hair multiple times a day, the first thing to go is your hearing. And in most conventional hair dryers, I'm going to use my old personal Extava Peony as an example, the motor is right here. So I'm drying somebody's hair, I'm diffusing it. Where is this the whole time? It's by my ear. So here I am drying somebody's hair. And after doing this with a standard regular blow dryer for a couple months, I started having a ringing sensation in my ear. It just kind of felt like cotton was in my ears. And when my girls would talk to me, I, I couldn't hear what they were saying sometimes. And it really scared me. And I really wanted to go ahead and invest in something that would prevent me from losing my hearing in this new profession that I'm in. So I purchased this because the motor is down here in the handle. So as I am, I'm gonna turn this on again. As I'm drying somebody's hair, I'm just using it. The motor is all the way down here. The fan is all the way down here. And I don't have to change the volume of my voice. This doesn't bother my ears because it's all the way down here. The one thing it will do is, you know, get caught on your sleeve sometimes. So you want to be sure that you're not um, prohibiting the airflow here. But I, I love 
the location of the motor. And I think from a professional perspective, this is a dryer that I could not live without. This is my absolute favorite investment that I have made so far as someone who sees multiple clients a day, almost every day of the week. A couple of the features that are different about this particular dryer as opposed to the commercial dryer. The cord is 11 feet long, so it's got a lot of length. It's plugged in way over there in my bathroom from where I'm sitting, and it's on the floor very comfortably. The 11 foot cord is amazing for maneuvering around a client. The magnets on the professional version are twice as strong as on the commercial version, which is really helpful. Um, it keeps your attachments from flying off. Um, it does come with the same three standard attachments and the professional version only comes in silver. I know there are some other differences between the two, but those are the three main that stand out to me. The super long cord, the magnets are twice as strong, and it only comes in the color gray, gunmetal, silver, whatever you want to call it. It does come with the same standard three attachments as the commercial version, which is the diffuser. This is the concentrator nozzle for blowing out the hair. And then this is the rough dry concentrator nozzle. So much larger. It also comes with a mat so that your blow dryer doesn't completely slide off when you have to set it down. It also comes with a little tool and an extra filter here to clean this device. So this comes, this slides down. Ooh, I need to clean that. Oh, I've been bad. So I'll do that after this video. So this slides off completely. This is your air filter. This is your phase one air filter. This is your phase two air filter. This doesn't come off. So these you clean and you can rinse water through them. I'll show you how this works. It just pulls apart right there. More magnets. And there you go. And you can just run water through this to clean it. And while that one's drying, you have another one that you can use. So it comes with an extra. It's super easy to put back on. Open it up. Make it stick. And then it slides right back on the way it came on. Super easy. It's quiet, it's ergonomic, it's light. The weight is in the handle, so this part doesn't feel, the head doesn't feel heavy, which I really appreciate. Let's talk about the attachments. Most of you that are following me, you're not going to use these, but you could. So this is the concentrator nozzle. I especially love this one when I am blowing up clients. This does a really great job of limiting the airflow into this blade. It's almost like the, like you see in the Target restroom, the air blade that you can use to dry your hands. So this works just the same way, but on the hair. And the amazing thing about this is that when you're drying someone's hair, hi helper, can you come to help me? Okay, you can sit with me. I have a helper now. You need to help me? Huggy, okay. She's gonna snuggle while I talk with you guys. Okay, so this one comes in really handy. Um, when the air blows on someone else who's walking past me, for example, the air actually feels cold to them, which is really interesting. It doesn't feel warm. This one I don't use very often, but this is the rough dry nozzle. And then the diffuser, obviously I use quite a bit. I'm gonna come back to that one. Those are the three that come standard with it. I bought the comb attachment separately. This could either be used for blowing out um, extremely curly hair, and it looks very different from the other attachments that just have the little sleeve on the end. This one's got a whole column. So this one snaps in just the same as the others, works with magnets. I actually like to use this, this is a little tip I learned from Evan Joseph, to actually dry the roots of the hair, especially for those women that have the really, really dense hair right here and it won't dry. You can move this in and just dry the roots. It almost works like the Diva Curl hand diffuser, but it's kind of a nice um, pointed shape, so it's really easy to slide in to the hair and slide right out without causing frizz. So I'm gonna get down to business and talking about the diffuser. The diffuser, <laughs> the diffuser, I mean, let's be honest, it doesn't even compare to this. Like, you can't even compare these two. Yes, this is still my favorite diffuser of all time, especially for my, this section of my hair that's a little bit longer, it's still, there's just nothing like that for scooping up hair and really helping with crown lift and curl enhancement all in one. It's just an amazing diffuser. I did try the trick with the magnets at one point in time and glued them all around this. It was a complete and total disaster. Without the sleeve here to give it some stability, uh, it slid right off. Not once, but twice while I was drying one of my high density clients hair and it hit the ground and bounced across the salon. There was like a collective gasp that happened and it was, it was bad. 
<laughs> it was so embarrassing. I am not someone who embarrasses easily. It was so embarrassing. So there's nothing like this combination. This would be my dream, but I have not been able to successfully make that work. However, I want to say for eight, nine out of 10 of my clients, this diffuser totally works. It's very similar, I think, maybe a little bit better than this silicone like travel diffuser. You can find these from all kinds of, this is next topic, but you can find these from all kinds of different brands on Amazon. And I've actually, with my very short hair lately, I've really been using this one a lot more. I really like it for short hair and I'm really liking this one for short hair. This does even work for medium length hair. For, the, for my extra long, I have to bust this out with a separate hair dryer. So that's a whole other video, but I wanted you guys to know that I really do love this, mostly from a professional perspective. It's a rare day when I bust this out to use on myself because for me, my Extava Peony is still totally fine. I'm using it on myself, the motor is way down here, it doesn't bother my ears at all. And I've really been switching out my diffusers I kind of tend to go back and forth with this shorter haircut and it works just fine for me. So this is totally fine for me at home. So if you're a consumer watching this video, chances are that this dryer is overkill unless you have an absolute ton of hair. It really does dry the hair faster. I do find that to be true. But if you do have long hair and you do have a ton of hair, this is still gonna be your best friend in my opinion. From a professional perspective, this dryer is the way to go because it will save your ears, it will save your arms, it will save your wrist. It does the job, it does it quickly, and I think that it really does result in less frizz. So overall, I love this dryer. I just have a very hard time recommending it, knowing what the price tag is for the everyday consumer who will have just as much luck using a dryer like this. That's where I stand on the issue. Like I said, I love and adore it, but for the price tag, it's really hard to make this as a strong recommendation for the everyday consumer. So that's where I am. Oh, in terms of, thank you for reminding me. <laughs> it doesn't come with any kind of storage bag and that's fine, most dryers don't. I did find this bag on Amazon, I wanna say it was maybe 10 or $15, it wasn't very expensive. Just to show you guys how this works. So there's a little pocket inside, I tuck the dryer inside, I coil up the cord and roll this little mat up, that goes in there. All the attachments fit in. Diffuser fits right on top. Give it a little shake. And there you go. I think it's a great dryer. I'd be curious to know your thoughts. If you have this dryer and you've used it as a consumer, what do you think about it? As a stylist, what do you think about it? Share your thoughts below and we'll talk soon, guys. I hope this was helpful to you. I'll see you soon. Have a great curl day. Can you say bye?